Hi everybody, Elin here. Today I come to you guys with a book review. And today I'm going to review Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, written by J.K. Rowling, of course. The one and only, my queen. And yeah, today I'm reviewing this beautiful edition, which is the UK edition. And um, yeah, this book is about Harry, of course. And he starts his second year at Hogwarts. And there comes up a lot of problems. And I don't want to spoil it, but I mean, a lot of people have read this book already, but it's a spoiler-free book review. So yeah, it's about Harry, and he realized there's magic in the world, and that he's a wizard, and he finds out what happened to his parents. And in this book, you get to follow on his second year in Hogwarts, and he definitely come across a lot of problems, and a lot of the problems is not really suitable for a 12-year-old um, to actually solve on his own, but I mean, it's Harry, so of course he cries. And um, yeah, just like the first book, you get these really awesome characters and you get to uh, know the Weasleys a little bit better and I love the Weasley family. They're so awesome and funny and I wish you get to see more of them. <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean, it's really well written, of course, and there's a, like fantastic intrigues and everything and I mean... This is very serious and I mean a little bit a little bit darker than the first book if I may say so. And I mean this time Harry and Ron has to pretty much make it on their own a little bit more than the first book. They're not really getting as much help as they have before from a certain character which I'm not going to spoil. Anyways, I mean this book was always like my least favorite in the series because I don't know <laughs> but I mean it's really hard to say why but I mean of course it's still a five out of five star kind of read I just don't really I can't really put my finger on why I liked it the least um maybe because it's I mean we're missing some characters a little bit in this book um, but it has really exciting and interesting storyline that's for sure and it's not as thick as the later books in this series either and I mean you get to be a bigger part of more adventures of course a little bit of his lectures and everything but you mean you also get to learn a little bit more about Voldemort and his background which is always fascinating if you ask me and um, yeah of course this is really really well written like all of Jacob Rowling's books and our Harry Potter world and I mean it's just amazing and I've read this 20 plus times because I can't be stopped and also because this series is a classics according to me and I should a lot of other people so classics 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 I don't even know what to say um but yeah you get to meet some new characters like Dobby and he's adorable and so misunderstood from some characters point of view and I mean this series is so freaking good and if you haven't seen the movies and you think that's enough then you're definitely missing out because everybody should read these books that's just that's just my opinion because they're amazing things happen all the time you have amazing characters the world I mean the world building is so freaking good and as a reader you can definitely see everything in front of you while reading it and I mean it's addictive you just just fly on through it and as I'm talking about this book I really want to read the next book in the series where I am at the moment so yeah wrapping this up um, so yeah I love this book read it and it's a five star read like I said before so yeah I hope you like this video please don't forget to give me some thumbs up if you liked it and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking a little button down below and yeah I hope we see each other next time bye